Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And of course, you've seen the thumbnail and you see my background. We are back with more Wednesday, all right? And this is episode three, and it is titled Friend or Woe, all right? So the last episode, she was kind of on her detective, you know, trying to figure out what happened with old boy in the forest or in the woods. Then he pops back up like he like nothing ever happened, like she didn't just see this guy get mauled out by whatever that troll-looking thing was. Um, but then come to find out when thing followed him, he was like a shapeshifter, so that wasn't who it was, which is even crazier. Um, she did team up with her roomie, all right? And they were able to win uh, the canoe race, the school canoe race, the Black Cats. Uh, which everybody was cheating like hell, but they still came out and won. You know what I'm saying? Wednesday was prepared for that. All right. And at the end, she had found uh, underneath a statue the same print that was on her paper or on that picture. Um, she was able to decode it and get in. And apparently it's a secret society or some type of thing like that. But when she got down there, someone put a bag over her head. And then that was the end of the episode. So. We're here to take a look at the third episode, all right? So before we get into this, make sure you guys leave the thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave the like. And if you're new here to the channel, make sure that you guys are hitting subscribe and tap that notification bell so when we or I do a video just like this, you all will get it first, all right? So again, this is episode three, Friend or Woe. I'm Fireworks. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. Success, shall we? Bag over my head for optimal disorientation. Tie tight enough to cut off circulation. Bro, when her hair gets like that, bro, it always makes me weak. It's definitely my kind of party. You can take the mask off, Bianca. And just like that. Damn, she knew it was them. That's crazy. How did you get down here? Rowan showed me. Left pocket. I tracked the watermark from the page down to the post statue. Wait, there's a riddle? I thought we just snapped twice. Damn, <laughs> he didn't even know there was a riddle. We have roof parties, campouts, the occasional midnight skinny dip. Last I heard, the nightshades have been disbanded. Yeah, the group kind of lost its charter. But we have a lot of wealthy alumni, so okay, we... Okay, so what is going on? So they revamped it, rebooted it? What are we going to do with her? Only members are allowed in this library. Make her a member. I said we invited a pledge. Yeah, I was going to say, make her a member. Just because I beat you at your own game? I'm not interested in joining. Are you turning us down? Can you believe it? Bro, she doesn't care. She would rather be solo. Damn, she already untied herself. Do you want a matching black eye? Yeah, she's that badass. She figured it out and don't give a shit. It's amateurs like you who give kidnapping a bad name. Yeah, okay. We're coming for Wednesday, yes. Yes. That was pretty wah. If I'm going to be responsible for Nevermore's demise, why am I sharing this apocalypse with a pilgrim? Hmm, who is that? Yeah, that's now, that's our next question, I guess. As you know, this year, Outreach Day, which will also include performances by Nevermore students. I trust you will all put your best face forward. Somehow Wednesday in a room full of, or a crowd full of outcasts, is so much more of an outcast. I do have natural people skills and a love of performing, so it's kind of the obvious choice. Your eye is heap, whatever that is. We're at a creepy antique store. You'll love it, though. So she might find some info. Wednesday, don't worry about your cello. My cello? I caught your rooftop serenade the other night. I volunteered you to accompany the Jericho High School marching band at the ceremony. Damn, she was like, man, what the fuck? That's her biggest, like, enemy right there. She keep trumping her. And more pressing issues on my mind. Yeah, like what? Tracking down the monster that killed your former roommate. Have you spoken to him since? I texted him a few times, but I never heard back. I just figured he wanted to... Yeah, play. you're proving her point. You didn't seem surprised when I showed you this last night. You've seen it before, haven't you? Well, days before the Harvest Festival. It was open on Rowan's desk, so I just assumed he stole it after we kicked him out of the night. Bruh, so you just withholding this? Bruh, come on. How can you do that, crazy? <laughs> 
threw you against the wall. Damn, that's a total dude 11. He must be like 12, because I'm 13. It's weird that you're in this. I mean, this journal is like, what, 30 years old? Yeah, it's Joseph Crackstone. It's like Jericho's founding father. Yeah, look. That's Damn, up. okay. Well, that was easy. She found out who he was. Sheriff. Yeah. I sure do. I ran into him and his buddies last week at the weather van. I'd better get to work. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he dipped out quick. They don't look too excited. Those outcast kids might think we're happy to have them. I'm just doing my job, looking out for the well-being of our town, boss. But before the good citizens of Jericho... I mean, yeah, when you are hemmed up with demand, it's hard to, to be saying anything. He getting paid by the same people that he pointing the fingers at. Actually, if your business is Pilgrim World... Hey, just find the damn bear and take care of it. Bruh. Yes, all right. Everyone take it's not a bear, bruh. Do you realize this, man? Hey, you don't realize this, cuz. Like, it's obvious. Your generosity and hard work are truly outreaches. <laughs> okay, everyone, we'll see you back here at 1 o'clock for lunch. <laughs> yeah, terrible speech. You can tell that he definitely has the issue. He don't even want them there. And this is a group of cool ass kids too. I need to check out Pilgrim World. But Wednesday, this is not a fair trade. Ajax is going to be volunteering there. Things sneak to peek at his assignment. Oh my God, thank you. You're the best. Damn, she set him up with, she set him, uh, her up. So she was like, yeah. What if he's not in there though? Wanna grab a Hummer's group photo? Guess not. <laughs> Bruh, <Brandon. laughs> she didn't even say anything. She just. I am Mistress Arlene, a real OC, original colonist. Or you are about to travel back in time to the year 1625, to Jericho's first. 1625? Bruh, that's when they were shitting in holes. Yonder. Behold, this is like the, the house, Black Knight collection of artifacts related it's to like Jamal's gonna come out of nowhere. And beyond is our privy, America's first gender neutral restroom. Yeah, it's just a hole. Which of Joseph Crackstone's artifacts are on display? Including original farm tools, tableware, even the Crackstone family chamber pot. That exhibit is being renovated today. Thou will all damn. Be so now, how you gonna get in there? Yay, old fud Ye fudgery. Old fudgery? More like your diabetes. Sorry, I, I sounded terrible. So. <laughs> and samples equal sales. So, grab a uniform and a box. Are these for wrestling tourists? Wednesday's always gonna be the dark one. Let me be real with you. I can sit and listen to her dark jokes again all day long. I'm pretty sure it's dead. Local artist scooped that fella up right here on Route 22. Bro, You're telling what? Me so that was a real... That was a real dead... Rat? Got a whole section dedicated to these beauties. Squirrels, skunks, snakes. Family of ferrets at a clam bake. Too cute. These are these were real animals at a point in time. Hell no. Maybe we can do that after like a an extended coffee break. You want us to pick you up something? I'm brewing chaga. It's my yeah, own. Yeah, chaga sounds chunky as hell. I forged the little buggers myself. Better get teasing. You're in for a treat. So they stuck pet, I mean, uh, combing dead rats. But so can find an unter dritte una bona de Amazonas. Was? Auf fresh du halten. Du brigands. Fudge with a. Bro, what the fuck is she saying? Hat jemand Interesse? Oh nein, nein. What did she do? What did she say? That's what I want to know. Bro, he about died. Look at him. He looked like Angelica after she had all them chocolate bars. Come here. Howdy, pilgrims. Damn, he just threw up all over, dude. What, do you want to end up in the stocks too? Remember what happened the last time we did this dance? Do you want to do this again? I guess he does. Can't get into any more trouble with my dad. Yeah, he's already out. I can't get any more trouble. <laughs> it looks like another successful outreach day is upon us. <laughs> Generous donation to my re-election campaign. Consider it a token of our ongoing cooperation. Hmm, what the hell's going on between them two? 
She's Nevermore's first normie teacher. Have we met before? Not officially, but I see you in here every morning. I knew it. <laughs> Miss Thornhill. Damn, yeah, so I guess he has seen her, but they were acting real fishy before she walked up. Nobody's ever stood up for me before. Come as a shock, but I don't have any friends. You remind me of my brother. Yeah, I was gonna say. Now follow me. I need to know more about this crack stone. So we have a meeting house to break. Yeah, she's gotta figure out about, what's his name, Joseph Crackstone. But they renovating. She gonna get in there anyway. She gonna get in there. Really good. Not as straight or white as Enid's, but still. Hand it over. What's the big deal anyway? The fudge is definitely the best thing about this place. Bro, she got in there too easy. My grandmother once told me, secrets are like zombies. They never truly die. Bro, what if that thing start moving? I'm gonna lose it. But I have a strange feeling the answers to my future lie in the past. The old meeting house. 1625. Bruh, is that her? Oh, yeah, it's like the, the other her in the white dress. This is the book. Codex Umbarum. That's Latin well, for... She's got all the way to this point and found the book, so let's hopefully it's got some... Damn, it's blank. I don't know who Etsy is, but I doubt she was an outcast settler. <sighs> Just what the fudge are you doing in here, Missy? Oh, she said, what the fudge? I told her the door's unlocked, and you were dying to learn more about Crackstone. Yes, that book's a replica. You don't say, yet you still charge twenty nine ninety five a ticket? Hold thy tongue. <laughs> yet you still charge 29 Hey, I'm weak. The original meeting house. The one shown in that painting. Where is it? How the hell should I know? I only moved here from Scottsdale in April. Damn, she'll see from Arizona. <laughs> Ooh, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know. Do you think squirrels and rats could ever uh, work out? Every, like, nah, 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 nah. I can't do it. Most people are scared of them, so it would just be us, them, against the world. You know, by the way, I totally dug the way you scratched out the bottom of our boat at Poke Up. They definitely got, like, a thing. Why don't they just go ahead and date? I was just doing a solid for Xavier. I mean, he's my boy, but he's super competitive. You realize this is, like... The longest conversation we've ever had. Mm hmm There she goes, being a girl. I, I don't want to accidentally stone someone. I'm not afraid of being stoned by you. It's just temporary. You mean that? One hundo. Okay, she's about to get stoned, I feel like. I have spent all morning flirting and hinting and trying to act cute while just you would ask me on a freaking date. I kind of wondered when you spent so long brushing that opossum stale. <laughs> Wait. So? Want to meet up behind the greenhouse tonight? Yes. Hey, Ajax, can you help me move the badger dentist to the front? Okay, so are they? I guess they are. You want a coffee? I'm actually here for Tyler. I told you he was bad news. Twice. But who I speak to is my business. Damn. So, yeah. I think she like him, but he like her, I think. What do I know? Do you know if it's still around? What's left of it is out in Calvin Woods, but it's pretty much a ruin. Squatters and meth heads use that place as a crash pad. My Damn, dad. squatters and meth heads, yeah. But Wednesday, could, she could take care of herself. It's Wednesday. Principal Williams would hang, draw, and quarter me if I missed the big statue dedication for her to keep a low profile. Don't tell me you were a Girl Scout. <laughs> Actually, I have an uncle who went to prison for that. Hold on, wait, what? Hold on, Uncle Fester went to prison for eating Girl Scouts? Who are you talking to, little girl? Use the words little and girl to address me again, and I can't guarantee your safety. Being a hand here. Damn, so things just gonna take care of it while she look around. I'm weak. Your visions are about as predictable as shark attacks. Damn, that was fast. Oh, she gonna see what happens to Craxton. Oh no, that's her. Well, someone that looks like her. You have been judged before God. So is that her mom's mom? Or her mom? You have slaughtered the innocent. You have robbed us of our peaceful spirit. You are the true monster, all of you. Damn, did she cut it? Oh, she cut his face. Set it 
the blade! Oh shit, they gonna set it a fire? Mother! Mother! There is no time, child. Leave me. Save yourself. He's chained us all to the Damn, floor. Damn, this is crazy. Avenge us. Find the others and save our future. <laughs> our, our only hope. Damn, and this is her longest, like, vision, too. Okay, where is she at now? He's here. Okay, holy shit. And I believe she's my ancestor from 400 years ago. Okay, yeah, she's your ancestor. Must have been the bearded man from earlier. Holy shit. Nope. <clears throat> Damn, how's that thing move so fast and just disappear? What the hell are you doing? I found the monster. You saw it? It's here? Is Maybe he the monster? I overheard you say you were checking out the old meeting house. I guess it's lucky I showed up when I did. Its tracks turned from monster prints to human ones. Yeah, so it, who, who, yeah, it might be him. Why the sudden change of heart? I texted him again today. We could meet up over spring break and go snowboarding like we did last year. Only you never went snowboarding last year. Damn, that's crazy. I was trying to learn more about Crackstone. Yeah, and you were trying to use your psychic abilities. Makes you think I have any. Lucky guess. When did they start? Yeah, I was gonna say, lucky guess. Yeah, you got it. And he know. He knows. But he also could be that troll thing, too. I don't know. What the hell? Because it's, it's ironic that he was out there without seeing it or hearing it. So what? It was 400 years ago. It's got nothing to do with now. You're creating a story in your head and using visions to back it up. See what you want to see. Are you mansplaining my power? Yeah, pretty much. Because that doesn't even... I mean, yeah, I get what you're saying, but you're not listening to what she's saying. What, you, what she's saying is meaning a lot more. You're treating it at very surface level. Something bad is going to happen, and I need to stop it. Starting with that monster, whoever it is. Yeah, she thinks it's him. <laughs> She's suspicious, too. So, together as one, our community and our friends had to celebrate his memory. Now may the spirit of Joseph Crack Damn, he's already asleep. <laughs> it's not bad. It could have sounded a lot worse. What's she about to do? Bro, there's no way he slept through that. And holy shit. Oh yeah, now she's going in. This is perfect. Bro, he's still asleep. Hey, Wednesday's awesome for this. And then hit the solo right after. I've lost count of the number of angry phone calls, emails, and people in the town, alumni and parents. I would lead the Inquisition, but I left my thumbscrews and rack at home. You're already on thin ice. What, what are you gonna do, expel her? My late scorpion soul. My hands are clean. Yeah, that's true. What are you talking about? Jericho. Why does this town even have an outreach day? The actual story of Joseph Crackstone? An extent then why be complicit in its cover-up those who yeah that's true then why do that why do that if you know nothing has changed since crackstone they still hate us if you're unwilling to fight for the truth you don't think i want the truth why she walk about like they were about to duke it out you don't want it on wednesday you don't want it but it's either they write our story or we do you can't have it both ways you're exhausting i know she's getting to it yeah what do you guys say like she's truthful She's telling the truth. But you should know, I don't tire easily. Neither does Wednesday. Who the hell's there? Damn, it, holy shit. Damn, so she knows about it? Proof. No! 
Damn, it stoned him. Fuck, cause the tail dropped. Aww. Damn, she got stood up. Roman's drawn that me and cracks don't happen sometime in the future. Damn, she that stressed out. She in there with the wine. Bro, why is she hiding shit? Why is she why is she ripping up the book and shit? And sometimes the monsters we really suspect. <laughs> they don't need Damn. I mean I know she's mad, but how long do you stay stoned? Damn, so he's the monster. Yeah, now that I'm seeing him, he looks like it. Damn. Now he definitely is going to think it's somebody from Nevermore. All right, you guys. So that was Wednesday, episode three. Friend or oh, whoa. So it looks like, man, it's crazy because that's a love triangle with, with Wednesday and oh boy. The dude from the coffee cafe really likes her. And I think that Wednesday is more projected to like that dude. On the other hand, the guy from Nevermore who made the spider come out the book, who her rival like, or is her, his, her, his ex, his and each other's ex, he like Wednesday, I guess. But he's this monster thing. So what's crazy is, is that it, now that we know, I guess, that he's the monster, then what did that say about Rowan? Did he kill his roommate? Now it makes it sit like, so everything that he's been saying to her has been kind of just a fucking lie. You know what I'm saying? And there's like more moving parts now that that has been solved. Christina Ricci's character just went to the secret service place, which is weird because she's supposed to be a normie. Then you got Wednesday. I don't know if she knows if dude is the monster, but she probably suspects it. Because she, he popped up right like, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, I think that, I think that her old boy from Nevermore is the monster. And I think that it's going to be Wednesday and the dude from the coffee cafe against him. And then I don't know what's up with the, the head of the school. I don't know what she's up to. Maybe she's the one that's in cahoots with the Nevermore student. You know what I'm saying? So. It's going to be interesting to see. Now they got a picture of it. You know, the sheriff's definitely going to go to Nevermore with that. So um, y'all let me know how you feel about episode three, friend or whoa, down in the comments. Let me know. All right. So before I get out of here, make sure you guys leave the thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave the like. If you're new here to the channel, make sure that you guys are hitting subscribe and tap that notification bell. So when we or I do a video just like this, you all will get it first. Okay. So again, make sure I stay in tune to the channel because I have more Wednesday on the way all right so from fireworks this is snoopers gonna snoop youtube channel